published 1730 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of January 2018, updated 1923 Eastern Standard Time, the 7th of January 2018. It is an historic transfer, a deal that will be the most expensive in English football history. After his medical at 8 a.m. on Monday, Philippe Coutinho will be presented as a Barcelona player in a transfer worth £145 million. In the final days before his move, Sportsmail was given unprecedented access with chief sports photographer Andy Hooper and head of sport Lee Clayton invited to join the Brazilian on his journey. Here is what we witnessed. Philippe Coutinho with daughter Maria, his wife Fane and mother Dona Esmeralda on board the private jet to Barcelona private room at Les Ambassadeurs Restaurant, London. Thursday, January 4, 9pm. The extraordinary pull, some might say seductive power, of Barcelona for Philippe Coutinho is laid bare around a table set for 12. He sits alongside his charming wife of five years, Ain, his mother and father, two brothers and the wives and his agent, Kia Jorabchia. Where will they live when they arrive in Spain? One possible residence has already been chosen by an unlikely source. The president of Barcelona, Josep Maria Bartomeu, asked one of his senior players which hotel Philippe might prefer during his settling in period. No, President A, there is no need for a hotel. I already have a house for him. The beautiful residence is in the Bellamar neighborhood of Castel Defels, a beach town along the coast from Barcelona, with four miles of sand and setback in the hills overlooking the coast. The player who signed for the house is Luis Suarez. Philippe Coutinho's journey to Barcelona started on Thursday afternoon as he arrived at a restaurant in central London Lionel Messi is another in the neighborhood. When asked recently if Messi was a good neighbor, Suarez said, well, he has great security, which helps us all, Coutinho explains, he saw that a house next to his became available. He didn't know I was coming for certain but he liked the idea. It's a kind gesture. We've seen the pictures, the views look amazing. We are in touch all the time and I look forward to seeing the property with my family. I know Luis will help us to feel at home, so that's one teammate on the left of Suarez, one on the right. It could be a metaphor for how Barcelona's forward line will play. Coutinho's role in the team is yet to be discussed, a deeper quarterback passing role or one further up the pitch. That chat with the coach will come later. The conversation turns to his shirt number. All the numbers have been distributed, he is told. What about your favorite 10? Someone asks, no. No, no. There is only one number 10 at Barcelona. Messi, Coutinho replies with a wide smile. He is the best player in the world, the ultimate number 10. Coutinho was escorted inside the restaurant before he settled in for the night with his family and entourage in a private room. Coutinho will tell Barcelona he will take the number he is given, without complaint. Pedro Obiang at West Ham has just rifled a thunderbolt goal into the roof of the Wembley net to shouts of appreciation, but Dele Alli is being discussed around the table by Coutinho and is a player highly appreciated in these circles. The mood is comfortable, relaxed. Flying times by private jet from London to Barcelona are discussed, but in a casual fashion. The deal to become the most expensive signing in Spanish football history and the most expensive sale from the Premier League is close, although the contracts are still to be finalized and the announcements are yet to be made. Coutinho is keen for the Merseyside derby to be played before anything formal ends the speculation over one of football's worst kept secrets. Lucas Livre of Lazio calls via FaceTime to send his best wishes to his friends. A former Liverpool Brazilian himself, he has been voted Italy's player of the month earlier in the day. How far is it to fly from Barcelona to Rome, he asks. Coutinho's daughter, Maria, interrupts proceedings by singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star in English to applause around the table. The Brazilian star poses for the Daily Mail's chief sports photographer, Andy Hooper, who was given unprecedented access. There had been at least one spanner in the works of a complex deal earlier in the week. Liverpool's Boston owners, having reluctantly agreed to sell the star asset to Barcelona, had then suggested the Catalan club might loan him back to Anfield for the rest of the season. Coutinho is, after all, cup-tied for the Champions League. Financially, this would have worked out favourably. Jorabchian points out that Liverpool's owners did everything in the power to keep the player. This is not about money, Coutinho says now. 
it's about the chance to play for Barcelona, to live in Barcelona. Barcelona rejected the idea of a loan. Missing the Champions League means you'll be fresh for the World Cup, my friend. Ads leave a via live link from Rome. It's not ideal, but you have to look at things positively. At 25, there are many more opportunities to come. Mikhail Silvestre, a winner of five Premier League titles and the Champions League at Manchester United, is also in attendance as a recent addition to Jorabchian's management stable. With guidance from Lever and Silvestre, that's 522 Premier League appearances and 64 caps in the room. Coutinho is well supported. It is also worth remembering that Coutinho has spent six months in Barcelona already, playing 16 games and scoring five goals for Espanyol during a loan spell from Inter Milan, so he has an idea what he is walking into and what he is leaving behind. Park Lane, London, Friday, January 5, 8pm. It's Derby Day on Merseyside, but the Reds are without the playmaker. Instead, he is in a hotel room cheering for them remotely. Earlier in the day, Coutinho has more treatment on his eye injury that has forced him to miss the last two games. I am a few days away from being able to play, but I can't wait to get the ball at my feet again, he says. He has finished his Anfield career with seven goals in eight games and he has this to say about the club he is leaving behind. They are in a healthy position, with very, very good footballers. The signing of Virgil van Dijk is a statement, Mo Salah is a wonderful footballer. I look forward to watching them win trophies and to celebrating the success. I would not have left for any other club but Barcelona is something different. It is a dream, a place of magic for me, when I was young I would watch Ronaldinho play, I would watch him give magic. Now they have Messi doing the same. Coutinho moved to a hotel room on Friday night where he was able to watch Liverpool face Everton in the FA Cup third round. The 25-year-old said that Liverpool's signing of defender Virgil van Dijk has made a big statement in English football and I played there, the now camp, for Espanyol against Barcelona. I saw the magic was for real because Messi scored four goals. He resorts to Portuguese to say, he does things to make your jaw drop wide open. And then there is Suarez, Iniesta, Paulinho. Liverpool defeat Everton 2-1 as Coutinho watches with his daughter on his knee. The Van Dyke's headed winner brings him to his feet. Later the mood grows tense as it is apparent that final terms are still being thrashed out. Flight times have changed three times already. There has been a social media posting blackout, although Coutinho has a videographer as well as sports male's Andy Hooper to capture the unfolding events. A statement to the Liverpool fans is discussed at length and agreed. The message of farewell is personal and genuine. He admits, I feel anxious right now. Not tomorrow when we fly, but now. I'm between clubs. I'm sitting in London with you, not at Liverpool and not yet at Barcelona. Not yet, a call from a senior Barcelona official lifts the mood again. As the clock ticks past midnight, Jorab Chian declares, Bleep, today is the day you become a Barcelona player. It is only after the game that the mood grows a little more tense as the finer details of his deal to Barcelona are thrashed out. He does his best to stay relaxed with daughter Maria as Liverpool beat Everton 2-1 and make it through to the fourth round departure lounge. Signature 1, Luton Airport. Saturday, January 6, 2.305.30 p.m. The private jet sits on the runway with places for 13 passengers. There is no permission granted from Liverpool for Coutinho to travel, so he waits for the call to drive from central London. It is one of the frustrations of a modern transfer. There is an amicable relationship of respect between the two clubs, Coutinho and his agent. Nobody wants to jump too soon. Liverpool have not wanted to lose the player, but they paid only £8.5 million for him five years ago. Now the figures for this deal will reach a guaranteed £145 million. It proved impossible to reject, despite the best efforts. Negotiations have been going on for seven months. Premier League club want to announce the conclusion of the deal before there is a green light to travel to Barcelona. There are at least two sticking points in the contract. This is where an agent earns his money. 
On Saturday afternoon, Coutinho moved on to Luton Airport where he spent more time phone and awaited his flight. Liverpool were still keen not to lose the Brazilian but Barcelona's offer proved difficult to reject. Despite the best efforts our exclusive pictures show Coutinho, with his wife Anne and young daughter Maria, waiting to board his plane to Catalonia. Negotiations have been going on for seven months but Coutinho would finally get his long-term wish of joining Barcelona. The journey ahead is one of excitement, but the memory left behind a roar. I gave 100%, 100% of the time I played for Liverpool, says Coutinho. Five years, I did everything I could possibly do. I love this club, but it is time for a new adventure. I have so many memories and have so many people to thank at Liverpool. I have to improve as a player. In my head, I always think this, I understand the size of the task ahead, the cost of the transfer, the status of the deal, but this is about ambition, dreams. I want to play with the best player in the world. Coutinho in talks with his representative here Jorabchian as he prepares to seal his dream switch to Barcelona. The 25-year-old Brazil international Coutinho has agreed a five-and-a-half-year contract with Barcelona but I will return to Liverpool to say goodbye to my teammates, to staff and to the people who helped me and my family. I owe them a lot, now I'm looking forward. It's time, yes, it's time, it's not time yet. The flight is delayed again. That anxiety he spoke about the night before returns. A brief update call from the Barcelona president to Jorabchian helps. The phone is passed to Coutinho. The smiles are back. Coutinho was beaming as he climbed aboard the plane before flying from London to finally complete his dream move on board flight Legacy 600 bound for Barcelona El Prat. Saturday, 5.35 p.m. Coutinho sits in the front seats alongside his wife and parents. Spirits are high. I waited from 10 a.m. this morning. Then 11 a.m. I walked up and down my room, killing time. Waiting. I tried to sleep but I could not until it is complete. There is nothing to celebrate but now, we are almost there. Almost there, he looks through a book on the history of Barcelona with passages on Messi, Iniesta, Mascherano, Pique and Cruyff. It's time for Coutinho to make his own history now. Coutinho speaks exclusively to Sports Mail's head of sport, Lee Clayton, as he heads to Barcelona on a private jet. Barcelona's latest signing was shown a book detailing some of the world-class footballers to have played for Barcelona from Ronaldo signed for Real Madrid. There was a seven-page special of photographs in marker that also included focus on his earring, his watch, his new hairstyle. Coutinho is not a show-off, but there are multiple striking tattoos to observe. The one of his daughter on his right forearm is the most important, and there is the name of his wife underneath his wedding ring. There are aces, diamonds, clubs and hearts on his hands, they remind me of playing cards with my friends, he says fondly. Those who know him say that is where he is most comfortable off the pitch. Coutinho was in a buoyant mood as his dream move to Barcelona started to become reality on Saturday night. He spent a lot of time around his family and entourage on Saturday evening, which helped to keep the mood relaxed landing in Catalonia, Spain. Saturday, 9.45 p.m. a local time. A bumpy landing in the rain and Coutinho is asked if he brought the weather from the northwest with him. The mood is one of elation. Liverpool have announced the transfer and reaction is being read and discussed. Among the callers are Chelsea's David Lewis and William to offer congratulations. Now Coutinho's debut could take place against Celta Vigo in the Cup on Thursday. Coutinho steps off the private jet after arriving in Catalonia, Spain on Saturday night at 9.45pm a local time not long after touching down. The Brazilian receives calls from a number of friends, including David Lewis and William Hay says softly, I haven't slept very much at all this week. Finally, tonight I feel I can sleep, for him it now feels real as details of a five-and-a-half-year contract with a £345 million buyout clause emerge. He is the 34th Brazilian to join Barcelona since the first in 1931, Fausto dos Santos, who scored three goals in 30 games. This latest arrival will surely bring a better return. On Sunday night, just after 7pm, Coutinho took part in a photo shoot in front of the cameras in a Barcelona jacket at 8am on Monday. The 25-year-old will have a medical before being presented as Barcelona's latest star signing.